Welcome to Minecraft Descent into Pacifism, a Minecraft Bliss mod pack long play. In this series we have two rules, no killing and no stealing. And in this mod pack, we get to do just that. This idea was inspired when I realized that almost all popularized Minecraft videos online centered around killing and trapping people and monsters. This is not that. There are plenty of videos out there which you can find that focus on those concepts, and I don't fault you if you want to go watch them. This series has been a major challenge, and I invite you all to join me as I descend into pacifism. Welcome back, everybody. All right, so there's a few things. The first one, you'll notice I have named the dog. Its name is Pepper Roo, because it looks like my puppy, Pepper. Now wait just one minute. I hear you. What is going on? Where is Golden Apple Gorge? Why is there a dog we, that we just named? What happened? Well, to be frank, when I was re reviewing the footage, all of the audio came in through very shoddy at best. Even this episode isn't the best audio, but at least you can hear me, which is leaps and bounds above the previous episodes. So I will offer the following summary from the previous nine hours. I upgraded the shaders, but found out they weren't working properly because my computer was not using the graphics card for Minecraft. This is fixed now. I finished the log cabin. I installed a mod that lets me add signs that give titles, but still haven't figured it out 100%. I figured out how to make a backpack. I went on several adventures finding mine shafts and a ton of great resources. I enchanted my pickaxe and went on another adventure. I found this place. It's called Anvil Hammock Cove, when I, which I decided to build a village on and have started building roads. Oh, and I found a puppy and made it a doghouse, as you can see. So without further ado, let's get back into it. Um, I gave it... This is the uh, little doghouse that we made for it. It's very basic, but it doesn't have to be much. It's, it's for the puppy, and it just gets to enjoy it. And eventually, I'm going to add a little uh, water water dish in there and food dish. Um, you'll notice that I have a anvil here, as well as this right here. Um, the whole idea of these was to get a uh, uh, to start smelting all of our stuff, and I smelted all of the stuff that we've gained, and I put it in here. Right, so this is literally, like, I, I didn't go mining or anything. This is just the stuff that we found so far. Um, this is going to be my treasure chest. That's why it's kind of off to the side. That right there is the oak sign that I was talking about before. Um, actually, I have been meaning to do this. You'll see. Uh, this is that mod I was telling you about. So, place it. Very, uh, we'll do 30 because it's just right here. We'll call this one... Um, RGB, so remember red, green, blue, so I want 100, so I'm about halfway up on red, halfway up on uh, green, and I want all blue, so that should give it like a lightish blue, because if you take the other ones and move them up, it gives it almost a grayish, but a, a lighter appearance, um, whereas if I take that, the, to make it darker, you bring the actual color, like in this case blue would go down, and those would stay at zero, and that would make it darker. All right, so in this case, it would be Anvil Hammock Cove Tower. So this is within 30 blocks of the tower, it's going to say that. See, I'm doing Anvil Hammock Cove Tower. Now, back to this. Um, we have a ton of iron. Oh, by the way, I found this out. You can sort not the best, but we have iron, a bunch of iron blocks, we have 34 emeralds, we have diamonds, we have coal, which is about to be mostly useless because of the next thing I'm going to talk about. Um, part of the sea from our previous adventure, we still have this fire protection for. Um, some ender pearls, lots of copper, lots of gold, some golden apples, which we're about to have a whole bunch more because I'm about to turn all my apples into golden apples. And can you make enchanted? Can you make enchanted golden apples? No. You can, however, make a <laughs> you can make a banner pattern with it. Okay. Yeah. Why would you do that though? I mean, I guess you could do it with the golden apple gorge as its own banner pattern. You'll also notice I brought more stuff over. It's so now this, right? We smithed all that stuff. And then I realized, you know, we, we're going to have to cook a ton of stone. 
of cobblestone into stone. And, you know, this right here took forever to mine all the stuff for this. So, I decided I would make a little lava making, uh, or lava farm, right? So there's a vat of lava in there. It's only a two by two. The rest of it, I plan on putting campfires above it to make it look like it's smoking out like a big pipe um, above it. Almost like it's melting. And right here, you have it, I put some on the side to make it look like it's flowing in. Uh, I kind of want to make it look like there's, uh, you know, like it's flowing in from the from the wall here. Um, so I just kind of wanted to give it a little bit of more of an industrial feel. I want to extend it out to about right here and then back to the beginning here and then right here and right now it's more of an open design but I want to this whole wall here is going to be furnaces right and the furnaces can all be made to use lava because lava will smelt a ton of stuff so the next step is let's move stuff over to our little fabrication room Oh, sorry. Next step is to, uh, I already have cobblestone, is to make a floor out of the different materials. Because right now, it's made using what we have here, just grass, and that's not going to be good for what we want. Alright. The irony that we are going back through and undoing some of the stuff that we did before that's fine because now we have this make life so much easier although this is going to run out well before that stay because it's going to be just kind of blend in with the floor Ah, uh, okay, so I, I ran out. That's okay. Easy enough to work with. Is this... It's clay, right? What is clay? I can use the bricks that I make with it. So, stealing all the clay. I remember seeing this before. Yes, I get distracted, but... It all isn't the same end, right? Like, that's one of the important things that I've been trying to say here is that it doesn't really, like, especially with a game like this, yes, it's a, a distraction in normal life will end up, you will lose, you know, productivity and whatnot. But if you can focus your distraction, right? So, like, right now, I'm focusing this distraction on getting stuff that I'm going to need. Like, I will need glass, I will need clay. Because it will help me build in the end. This is all stuff that I'm going to need. Um, does it slow down what I'm doing right now? Yes, by a lot. But the end result is that I end up with the materials that I need. of it and clay be gone and also a bunch of sand be gone too oh there's more I mean all in all not bad and I'm you know we already discussed I'm gonna need this dirt Alright, now, the 
andesite, cobblestone, gravel, just place a ton of gravel all over the place, easy enough. Stone and cobble. I'll place some diorite. Let's just start placing some cobblestone. Just a few diorite. Diorite does add a little bit to it. I mean, you can say what you want about diorite not mixing, but it does actually adds a little bit of texture. Maybe not too next to each other. It's And cobblestone. Lots of cobblestone. Maybe some more gravel or andesite. There we go. Ooh, that andesite in a row doesn't look right. for this. I started off making it like that. I think I'm going to end up making all the walls into like the different bricks because I can also, uh, as I found out, I can go, man, you will also know that my pickaxes heal a little bit and that's because smithing stuff heals you really, or gives you experience and I've been using that to, uh, to get uh, some more stuff. The other thing, and I don't know if I have it on me, oh, I'll show you something else that I was able to do. You can make grilled corn, which heals you or gives you a lot of food. It's a great, great food source. Okay, that's gonna go for I accidentally used my shears on there. All this clay is gonna go in here. Same with the moss carpet. I'll put the grass in there too, it's good decorating. Same with cobweb. All right, now. I'm gonna start off by just breaking these, grabbing all the stuff, right? Because these are gonna go in a line on the, uh, make sure I can drop them. They're going to go in a line down here, and I'm going to start using them immediately. So, and I will not use any more coal. I'll start them over here. What the back of this look like? Because honestly, the back of them don't look bad at all, so... You know, it'd be really nice. Okay, so at least for this part where it's visible, right? Yeah, I'll make the uh, the outside of this be these. And on the inside, it's just functional, right? And then, uh... I'll make above it, use this. And here, I, I will continue it here, but... It's 
I was thinking cracked stone and stuff, but like with those giant patterns there, I think it would look really nice with that. Because that's going to be the door. Oh, where that crap is, the door. Around the door might be a good place to put something contrasting. Either that or wood, right? Uh, because texturing is important, remember? I can also make this uh, like so. Just go four up. Oops. So right there. Right. It does not look bad at all. I also realize. So you'll notice, if you look in the distance, you can see uh, much further. If I go up on the tower, so I have the Distant Horizons mod on, uh, which is fine, except for you can't have shaders enabled with it. So <laughs> I'm putting the shaders back on because they just look really nice. Uh, so whenever I have shaders enabled, the uh, Distant Horizons stops working. There we go. Just looks nice. Um, I don't know. I want to make a window that I think what might look better. So this wall being solid, and then this wall having a. Uh, well, actually, why can't it just be a uh, like almost a lean to? That's what I'll do. Almost lean to style here, right? Just like a crafting corner. All right. Right. You have all of these furnaces that go along the, the bottom. All of them are going to have a bucket in them. So I'll start by making that. Now I'll get the bucket ready for the next one. Yeah, I'm like right here. It says leaving because you know, I'm over 30 blocks away. And it'll finish those plus some. And then uh, I could have a lot of them going at once. So now I no longer have to worry about coal. That will last a thousand items, I think it is. And if I click on, or if I click on the lava, click that. Yeah, one, it says smelt 100 items. Um, okay. Well, I guess it would last a little over a stack each, which is still very nice. Um, also, I got popcorn and more food from. That stuff is really good. Yep. And as far as lights, got that. Plus, each of these are going to be cooking. So, now I can be creating all of the different blocks. So, if I want to start using the uh, solid block like that and just having variation of bricks, I can do that. Uh, so, this back wall. So, oops, there we go. This back wall, you'll notice it's like a variation, whereas that's a very solid single single set. I think what I want to do with it is this back wall is going to be more cobbled. Almost just like solid cobblestone. Because this back wall is going to be tall in two. And the point of this back wall is to grow vines for mossy blocks. There we go. So now I can get vines set up and they will just drape down. And I think are my vines in here? Nope. Are they in here? There they are. Because I'll be able to make bricks, and I'll be able to uh, 
And I'm gonna bring this chest over there too. I have more than one chest, so. No. If I have to, I can just craft a few. do that just to get extra here. That'll go down. Hmm. I use this to store the lava as I need it, but these might be going other things. I'm going to grab some more uh, cobblestone and get them set up. There's four of them. It takes a minute, but once they once they go, I can continue. I can also Ooh, that's really cool. Maybe I should expand that out to fifty. So all the work I learned. Yeah, I'm gonna expand that to 50. I'm tired of seeing it at the top there, because... Alright, now, now it should encompass down there, no problem. Might be able to use, uh, so might be able to expand that out using, uh, these. I mean, those will keep doing their thing, which is nice. So what I was saying beforehand was, uh, it is possible for me to set up a, uh, if I beat this with a back one, and I, or a forward one, it doesn't really matter, I can set up a, uh, an item hopper right above it, and then a chest, and I think I have beat this up one, or replace it with a, uh, I can replace it with cobblestone for slabs, and then I can just have it filled with stuff when it auto drops down into here. Would be nice for me. I mean, it's it's not necessarily an auto smelter, but I could also have it go down below the ground. But that's the thing. A standard like you would have to start planning from like here being the chest, hopper. So right here is where the furnace would be. <laughs> Three up. <clears throat> Is it a problem doing that? Nope. We can definitely do it. We just have to think ahead with that. For now, it's manual. I'll put the finished stone there. That takes time. Make sure it will stay up. Not 
can be sorry. Stone. Do I use another stone? Okay. So, I mean, four is definitely faster than than one, but also do five. I feel like it's, if I do this right, I can have this all going at the same time. And it's also cool that I found a nice little uh, layout here. Look a lot better with the, uh, the shaders. All right, I'm gonna drop some of this stuff off, and I'm gonna go farm some more. Then there's they are all ready. Well, before now it was my only fuel source, but I guess that's uh, not as big of an issue anymore. Um, Alright, where did my... Uh, oh wait, my hose up here. Let's go harvest. I'll start with the lowest level. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, how many? Just the first wave I already got over a hundred. <laughs> All right, now let's see how much uh, wheat and seeds I can get. This makes it so much easier. Oh, So many. <laughs> All right, now to go to the second level. So the first level provided us with, I I could just select it, 153 seeds and 87 of the, of the uh, wheat. All right, gotta get my mandatory two flats on. so much. It's daytime now. Thank 
this. Alright. I'm about to have to call it for a little bit. I will come back and finish this episode though. I'm not gonna short you guys on some time, but I do want to see how much our farm produces now, because that was really quick. Ooh, almost fell down. So, just to, so this is two flax, eight carrots, and then it produces 136 sugar cane, 236 wheat, 112 wheat seeds, now you may be wondering, why do I need so many wheat seeds? Well, guess what wheat seeds can be used for? Compost. For now, though, I'm going to drop all of this, specifically prioritizing the uh, completed crops, in here. And I get flax seeds, too. That's nice. Uh, and, the non and the seeds, I'm going to have to okay, sort that. I may need to have just a seed chest because here's the thing, there's a lot of corn kernels there, which can make actual like popcorn, which is a good snack. Uh, corn is honestly a good crop here. Wheat gives me the uh, bread, I make bread out of that. Wow, I'm gonna have to start using this this one now. So I can just I can compost those for bone milk. I'm gonna open up with like tree farming and stuff now that I know that there is a uh, a, a block breaker. All right, um, it's been good. Let me uh, go back down here to the uh, how we're doing here. Looks like uh, we're getting a lot of these, right? So I want to have a good chest of just stone, which we are well on our way to. Alright guys, uh, I mean, well you guys won't even notice the difference since we've gone for like a few seconds, but it, for me it'll be a, maybe a few hours. Alright, you guys have a great time. Alright, so like I said, it was uh, no time for you guys, but it was definitely a little bit of time for me. Um, we are back when we've got here because I don't even remember. Uh, okay, so we're still doing the stone cooking the stone up. I remember I had said that I wanted about a chest full of of the stone. Alright, and then oh wow, I have 51 bone meal. Oh, from all the bones. Cool. I like this. We had just harvested. I'm going to set up a lantern in here. Not like the stone lanterns, but just a standard lantern. Let's see they're in here. Well, just one will do. Um, and if I can place ash on the ground, I will, I will do that just to give it some uh, fill. Let's see right there. Oh, I can. Awesome. Just some. Oh, you can place it. You can build it up. Awesome. So now it's kind of like a like a little ash pile in the corner. I wonder if it changes. It's silent. All right. Oh, I need to get more uh, cobblestone quick. My goodness. It says a hundred, but I think it's still a thousand. Just still waiting on that. I'm gonna fill that small chest up with cobblestone and I'll just replace it as necessary. That way 
I'm not walking all the way up here. It's a good spot for it down there. What is going on? Oh, that actually straight up ran out. I guess it is 100. Oh. Now, uh, that's, that's a thing. Conveniently, we have that. Build this up. Now, with this, I'm thinking somewhere central. Maybe actually closer to this side because I have a lava on that side. Um, right there. And then if I can place that cobblestone right there and there with cobblestone. Right? So now from if I break that still have the shoes. Ooh, I forgot it turns it into weather cobblestone just by being there. Oh that's awesome. So I broke broke that. I can make uh I can make an overhang that leaves this one empty and just goes from here over and then has a single wall holding it up or regular walls. Yeah, I can do that. Oh no, so slow. That's fine though. It is doing its job. This will give me a lot of uh, stone, which I, I will need. Stone cutters going down there. Um, this one's going to go down there. Anvil will go down there. I might as well make a grindstone down there too. It'll be a nice little. Nice little setup. So actually, Alright, so furnace might as well put that there. I'll put those there. And we'll go right there. And then stone cutter goes right there. And glenstone. I'll put it right next to it. There you go. Yeah, this doesn't give any indication, but if it's a hundred each time, then it'll be pretty straightforward. And the goal is to get this entire chest filled with stone as opposed to cobblestone. Um, and that is 100% possible. And actually, now that I see it, I probably want to put at least three uh, lanterns in there. And I'll get those overhangs set up. I'll, uh, that, 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 oops. Oh, 
might as well grab all of this now that I think about it. And chop this up. Exact point. Looks so phenomenal. Like the graphics are just great. So get these set up. Except starting here. Last one, I do want to enter, oh, I do want to intermix this with, like have the outside be kind of like that. It means I'll have to make more stone stairs, but that's fine. And then walls. I guess I'm gonna have to One there. And honestly, like that's I would want a corner right here too. Oh well, that didn't line up very nicely. There we go. And then the uh that andesite's gonna be replaced right there because it just doesn't line up with everything else very well. There we go. Like, it almost looked better if I just continued the idea of uh, furnaces around the corner. Now I need to do this right. I can put a trap door in front of one of these. Or a trap door on the bottom shelf of this and just put stuff on top like the uh, like that. 
HP. Just realized. Let's go. I go get wood. I've been trying to use stone for this, but I don't think there's a stone trap for me. Let me check real quick. Is there a stone here? There's an iron one. Um, I guess I could do iron trap doors. This one? That might, that might not be bad at all. Got the iron for it too. And so it's good for the ceiling. And anything else I can use in here? Pebbles strewn across the ground. Um, oh. I guess I could also use the rest of these buckets. So, oh yeah, crafting tables up there. I can move the crafting table. It's a good, uh, good start at least. All right, so the iron trap doors. Oh, that's bars. Oh, it's only four. Huh, okay. So I've got five. Let me uh, grab some corn. I don't need to bone those yet. That can come later. I'll keep the corn on me. Alrighty. Are still filling. Alright, so with these trap doors, which are now right there, let's see what we can do. Oh, that's. I mean, I can still access that. Awesome. Does this have stone in it? Because trying to develop stone elsewhere. I feel like it doesn't cover the actual. Perfect. Nice. Okay. This is so. Let's see. Let's get some soot up on it. Going there, it looks a little bit more grimy. Um, I kind of want to hide this part right here, and it'll kind of look like the lava is pouring from the side there. Um, so, hmm. do I still have a shovel? No. Oh, yeah, the pebbles. There we go. So I think if I take have an idea. Need that though. And bam. And bam. Alright, that's all I gotta do. Just kinda smooth out the edge there. 
Uh, I may still need to put one in the center there, but I like the way this looks so far. It's looking very, very nice. Oh, because I can't put different uh, slabs. Just gives it a little bit of uh, a texture. Like, the bottom has all the soot, which as much as I hate it, that's probably about to have to go. Now that I think that it'd probably be cooler if I had a uh, stairs around it. Ah, uh, it's okay. Wait a minute, I can see some floor down. I need stairs, but I'm out of stairs, so what type do I want? So let's call this one dark. I can make it just a mix, so I can do and a side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, six each. Um, I guess cobblestone. And cobblestone. I uh, have cobblestones. What do you call it? Bricks. Alright. It's working out really well. Yep. Mixing it up. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put them right here, just like that. There you go. Now you can walk up to it, you can't really tell what's causing it, you have some things. Okay, that looks really nice. I may want to make it where the background is. Oh, there's more. I like this. Oh yeah, I said I'd get more of those lanterns. I have four total. Another one right here. Um, one right there. Two right there. 
Do they line up? Oh, they most definitely do not. Oh, I broke the suit. Oh, well. It's okay, I can get more suit. There we go. Now they at least line up. How's this look? And then, I guess I'll last a little bit. I'll use Amazon for this. Wait, this right here has to go. There we go. Make sure it doesn't do it on both sides. All right, good. And then up there's going to be three campfires. So uh, set up. I get all of them going at once. Let me put back here. Wow. Definitely making enough of this. Nice. Alright. So guys, I know this has been a lot. We've decorated this. I've extended out. Yeah, I know like this little spot right here extends out. Like it almost looks like it shouldn't belong, but like it honestly just kind of adds to the chaos, chaotic nature of it. it like this right here was more just a nature. It's like it had to be not a uh, it wants to be kind of thing. But when you need a little uh, black smoothie area. It's gonna be untidy. It's gonna have dirt, and that's kind of just falls into this build, right? Um, the bricks over where all the uh, the stuff is is supposed to be uniform because. Unlike over here, where it's just whatever else they could come together that has to have a more uniform and uh, stronger appearance. I like that that is the uh, the base of it. It's both functional and it uh, and it just adds to the uh, the aesthetic of it. It's really cool. Um, of course, I haven't farmed in a little bit. That's okay. Um, this isn't going to be the storage area. 
unfortunately, I guess that's the next build. I have to extend this out over here. I'll use the bricks and stuff that I'm making now, what I will be making. Extend this over here, and then I'm gonna start cutting this down. Uh, step one, and I'm gonna do it right now, is this tree is going away. First out of many. Look at this. Orange Autumn Sap. Oh, there's actually the leaf pot. Hummus. I feel like that's, uh, that's different. Um, there we go. Oh no, it doesn't actually get rid of it. Uh, I'll leave it there for now. So, this is the level. Hold on, make sure I'm right here. So this is level with that, right? This, no, this is level. So where the hummus is, is where this right here will just extend out to here. And I will start digging all of this down. Um, the idea being similar to before where you have to have four back to go up one. I like that idea of slopes. So each of these layers has to have at least four deep, and I can do that all the way around. And we have to have a name for this area as well, right? So, excuse me. We can call this the uh, the farms because I'm gonna have the silo, right? Why not have the silo be the uh, storage area? Set, set one one right here. Uh, and then one over there, or I can just make it be a storage room, right? Um, there's lots of options. Right. Um, and then... All right. This is the last thing I'm doing today, guys, and then uh, we'll see you next episode. Uh, this has been really fun. Uh, I've gotten a, to do a, a lot today. We built the blacksmith, did a lot of farming, like a lot of farming. And uh, in general, I feel like it has been a huge success. Uh, oh, that's cool. Maybe I'll, I'll hang a sign or something up that calls that the blacksmith. Because now that that's the blacksmith, right? We can we can add stuff to it. And this uh, pickaxe is almost a max now. Which is crazy considering how long ago we actually put mending on it. We used it down pretty low. Wow. Look at all that. Two whole rows. Well, almost two whole rows. Uh, so we're 30 away from two whole rows. But, alright guys, it's been really fun, thank you guys, and I hope you all have a great day.